Hello and welcome to Canton This Month. I'm your host, Diane Baker. During our show, we'll bring you a variety of special reports from throughout the community as well as local news and more. Canton This Month is produced by Canton Community Productions and the Canton Municipal Government. Our show this month will start off with a look at a little-known American hero, Robert Smalls. Then we'll head out to Antonio's and we'll finish it out with a visit to Once Upon a Child. All this and more when we return to Canton This Month. Celebrate Mother's Day in a special way. Moms, aunts, grandmothers and more are welcome to join us for an evening of dancing and memory making at the Summit on the Park Banquet Center. Make this a tradition with that special child in your life. For more information and to purchase tickets, visit cantonfund.org. Officer Patty Esselink with the Canton Police Department. School is in full swing. The signs are out and the lights are flashing, reminding us to reduce our speeds and be patient. Students belong in the school zone. Your distractions do not. Let's limit our distractions and let's keep our students safe. Slow down and be patient. What are the benefits of shopping local? Besides finding quality products and produce in your own backyard, shopping local means your produce is hand-picked and brought to you in its freshest state. Local products means less travel, which helps the environment. Plus, your business helps support the members in your community. So keep it local and visit the Canton Farmer's Market Sundays from May until October at Preservation Park. Go to facebook.com slash Canton Farmer's Market for more details. Now let's turn to the news. For those in the market for a new job this summer, across the board wage increases for all part-time and seasonal Canton Township positions will go into effect on April 1st. Canton Leisure Services is now hiring for seasonal part-time positions that are scheduled to start April through June and run throughout the summer. Apply today at canton.applicant.pro.com forward slash jobs. Open positions may include day camp counselors, teen services staff, lifeguards, and more. Find additional information at canton-mi.org forward slash jobs. Canton Township is an equal employment opportunity employer. The Countdown to Liberty Fest 2022 has begun. Canton's 29th annual Liberty Fest will be held in Heritage Park June 16th through 18th after a two-year COVID hiatus promising great food, top-notch entertainment, and tons of family fun. Enjoy exciting rides, a thrilling midway area, and more. New this year, Canton's fabulous fireworks display will now be held on Friday night instead of our traditional Saturday night time frame, moving forward to allow for a Saturday night rain date if necessary. Watch for special wristband discounts coming soon. For all the exciting details, visit CantonLibertyFest.com. The gallery at Cherry Hill would once again like to invite area artists to apply for a group or solo art exhibition for the 2023 season. The Village Theatre is interested in featuring a diverse group of artists of all mediums. Submission will be juried by an exhibition committee comprised of local artists, art professionals and art educators. Please be advised that you are ineligible if you have had a solo exhibition at the gallery at Cherry Hill within the last five years. Submissions are due by April 29th. For submission information, visit CantonVillageTheater.org. Now let's learn about Robert Smalls. Black history is American history. The contributions of African Americans can be found in every fabric of America, from sports to science, from entertainment to education, from Bunker Hill to Capitol Hill. African Americans have influenced every ounce of American culture and American life. Hello, I'm Anthony Davis, and on this program we will talk about some of those who have made a difference, both past and present, and events that helped make America, America.
Robert Smalls was born a slave on a plantation in South Carolina. As a young boy, he worked the docks in Charleston Harbor. And as was the customs of the times, he had to give all his earnings to his master. But working at the docks and around ships gave him time to study them. How they came and went from the ports and the signals the captains used coming into and leaving the docks. By the time the Civil War came, Smalls was an accomplished seaman and was assigned to steer the Confederate military transport naval ship called the Planner. Earning the trust of the white captain and crew, Smalls was allowed free access to the ship without suspicion. What the Confederate soldiers did not know was Small was putting in motion an elaborate plan to free himself, his family, and the other slaves aboard the ship and deal a blow to the Confederacy. With the enslaved crew on May 12, 1862, while the white officers spent the night on the town, Smalls and the three other slaves hijacked the planter and his bounty of heavy weaponry. Smalls had alerted members of the crew's families ahead of time so they could be picked up during the escape. Despite escaping with the planter, they were far from danger. Smalls had to navigate the waters and pass through several Confederate checkpoints before reaching freedom. This is where Smalls' studying of the captain's signals, signs, hand gestures, and codes came into play. He put on the captain's uniform and piloted the planter past the Confederate checkpoint. By impersonating the captain and using the correct captain signals he had learned during his time aboard the ship. Once out of Confederate waters, Smalls took down the Confederate flag and hoisted a white flag. When approached by a Union warship, Robert Smalls yelled, Good morning, sir. I've brought you some of the old United States guns, sir. At this point, he asked for a United States flag, which he raised on the planet. Because of his immense bravery, Smalls was elevated to captain, making him one of the highest ranking and highest paid black officers in the Civil War. After the war, Smalls continued his fight as an activist, educating former slaves. He then turned to politics, serving in the South Carolina House of Representatives as one of the first black people elected in 1874, and stayed active in politics until the 20th century. In a final grand gesture, Robert Smalls purchased the plantation he grew up on as a slave and lived there until he passed in 1950. Engraved on the monument at his grave is, my race needs no special defense for the past history of them in this country. It proves them to be equal of any people anywhere. All they need is an equal chance in the battle of life. Robert Smalls, a great American. I'm Anthony Davis, and this has been Black History, American History. Thank you for watching. Are you looking for a great way to learn the game of golf? Get Golf Ready is designed to teach everything you'll need to play golf in just a few lessons. Each session will focus on the various golf skills you'll use while playing this great game. In addition to learning the basic golf fundamentals, etiquette, and the rules of the game, you'll also be guided onto the golf course to put your skills into action in a casual, friendly setting. Tuesday sessions will run May 3rd through the 31st from 6 to 7 p.m. Call Pheasant Run Golf Club at 397-6460 to sign up today. In response to the 2021 Canton Community Health Survey, Canton Public Safety will be hosting a free emergency preparedness class on Tuesday, May 17th from 6 to 8 p.m. in the Summit on the Park's Walnut Room. Learn emergency preparedness steps residents can take in advance of a disaster or emergency to be better prepared and to help ensure you and your family's well-being. Pre-registration is required for this class. Sign up today online at summitonthepark.org forward slash register and search activity HW5172. For additional information, call 394-5460. Weather permitting, reconstruction of Canton Center Road from Ford to Warren Roads will begin mid-April and last through the fall. Phase one of construction will begin with the three center lanes. Only the outside lanes will be used for north and southbound traffic. Access to all business driveways as well as one lane of traffic in each direction will be maintained for the duration of construction. A public information meeting has been scheduled via Zoom on April 5th at 2 p.m. To view a link to this meeting or for more information on this project, visit canton-mi.org forward slash 1160. Now we'll head to Antonio's. Hello, Canton, and welcome to Antonio's Cucina Italiana. I'm Antonio Ruggiero. Antonio's Cucina Italiana is uh, one of the greatest Italian restaurants that you're ever going to dine at.
cucina italiana means Italian kitchen. Been in business for 51 years. Mom and Dad started the Roman Village in Dearborn on the south end 51 years ago. Dearborn Heights was the first location and Canton has been around now for eight years. We currently employ approximately 250 employees between all the locations. We tried to go with a very uh, classic uh, design that's timeless. Um, you know, a lot of the uh, natural uh, colors in the stones. Um, yes, obviously it is a very Venetian uh, style design with the coffered ceilings and the columns. Uh, very Italian, just like the food. Very authentic, very Italian. Antonio's is a true authentic Italian house. We make everything in-house from scratch. Uh, the recipes all come from uh, my mom, uh, which come from the old country. We've got great food. We do it uh, as we've been doing it for over 50 years. The best judges are customers. They love the food and they always say that it's great and they enjoy it and it's uh, just like uh, it was back home. Of course, we've got a lot of the traditional dishes like ravioli or spaghetti and meatballs and lasagna, uh, which our lasagna is phenomenal, one of our best sellers. We make a great lasagna. We've got uh, 50 some different dishes that we, we, we offer on the menu. But what we started off with that made us famous was our pizza. We've got a great pizza. Uh, it's Dad's recipe. Uh, we started years ago, 51 years ago at Roman Village as a small pizzeria with maybe a half a dozen items. And we've grown from there and pizza's always been a staple. We've got a great pizza where you can come in, sit down, enjoy a Zod with a beer and a salad. It's perfect. My brothers and I, we grew up in the business. Why do we stay in the business? When you grow up in the business, you learn the business from your parents, you understand uh, about the business. I mean, it, uh, it's, a great, uh, it's a great opportunity that we had. And my father taught me a lot about the business and, uh, and, and how to respect the business. And uh, I know that if you respect the business, you respect the people that work for you and your customers, you don't take things for granted, you work hard, the rewards are huge and um, we love the business. So when people ask me, why do I do it? I love it. I love the restaurant business. Celebrate Mother's Day in a special way at the Summit on the Park Banquet Center on Saturday, April 30th from 2 to 4 p.m. Mothers, aunts, grandmothers, and more are invited to join us for an afternoon of dancing and memory making with the special child in your life. There will be light refreshments and the popular balloon drop finale. Souvenir photos are also available for an additional fee at the dance. New this year, this dance will feature a hoedown theme and participants are encouraged to dress the part. All ages require a ticket and pre-registration is required by 9 p.m. on April 22nd. Per person fees are $11.75 for Canton residents and $14.75 for non-residents. For additional information, visit cantonfund.org or call 394-5460. Are you looking for a short-term fitness center membership to get in shape for the summer? Then be sure to take advantage of the Summit on the Park Summer Shape Up Membership Special and save. From April 1st to May 31st, purchase a three-month membership package and save 15% on either the individual, family, senior, student, or couples membership. Purchase your membership online at summitonthepark.org or call 394-5460. Please note that family memberships are only available at the Summit front desk. Now is the perfect time to get started on the path to health and fitness with a Summit on the Park membership. Curbside pickup of residential yard waste begins April 5th and will continue until December 17th. All yard waste should be placed with recyclables on the opposite side of your driveway from your refuse. Yard waste and recyclables must always be placed separate from your refuse to avoid confusion during collection. In addition, GFL will hold the first cleanup weekend of 2021 on Saturday, April 23rd from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. at their facility located at 42100 Van Bourne Road. For questions or more information on refuse, recycling, and yard waste collection, visit canton-mi.org or call GFL at 844-464-3587. We'll be right back with more K-12 
Cam This Month. I'm Community Relations Officer Patty Esselink of the Canton Police Department. We continue to receive complaints of drivers not stopping for school bus red lights. I want to take this opportunity to remind you when the lights turn red on the school bus, that means stop. As you're driving down the road and the bus initiates the yellow flashing lights, those lights tell you to slow down. When the lights turn red and the stop signs go out, that means you must stop in all directions on a non-divided highway. If the highway is divided, the vehicles behind the bus must stop on those red flashing lights. Remember, it's not just you that we are worried about. We're also worried about all of the children who are exiting and entering those buses. So remember, stop on those red lights. Celebrate Mother's Day in a special way. Moms, aunts, grandmothers, and more are welcome to join us for an evening of dancing and memory making at the Summit on the Park Banquet Center. Make this a tradition with that special child in your life. For more information and to purchase tickets, visit cantonfund.org. Join the Village Theater Preservation Society and get the best seats in the house every time. As a member, you will enjoy access to pre-sale Canton produced tickets at the lowest rate, reduce concession beverages with a donor card for $1 off all drinks, select day rush tickets, name recognition on a plaque in the lobby, on the seat, and in the pre-show slideshow, personal invitations to each art opening and other special events, sponsor insert and programs for the 2022-2023 season, and an invitation to the end of 2022 season donor reception at the theater. The inaugural Village Theater Preservation Society fee is a pledge of a tax-deductible donation of $450 for two years. You'll receive an invoice once the pledge is received and may split your payments out in monthly installments of only $37.50 a month. For more information, contact the Village Theater at 394-5484 or email villagetheater at canton-mi.org. Now that golf courses in Canton are opening for the season, please refrain from walking on the cart paths or being on the course unless you are a paid guest. Although these golf courses are inviting places, they can be very dangerous to walk around on. Golf balls can travel up to 300 yards in the air, meaning you may not see one coming. Not to mention that people on the course are a disruption and distraction to golfers playing their sport. For your safety and the safety of your families, we ask that you refrain from being on the golf course or any of the cart paths. Now let's take a trip to Once Upon a Child. This store is a children's resale store um, where people bring their items in to sell. First of all, they bring their items in to sell. We pay cash for their items. And then there's, we have an excellent source for new mothers, grandmothers, uh, people that, that need baby equipment, toys, games, books, puzzles, videos, and clothing at reasonable prices. <laughs> the original Once Upon a Child was over 30 years ago. It was a mother of four boys and she started in her garage in Ohio. Um, she still owns some stores in Ohio. Uh, this store has been around 19 years. Uh, we were, were in our present location for almost five years, and we were across the street in uh, 
the Sheldon Plaza for the other for the other years, the other 14 years. They bring their items in. We have a, a check-in counter where someone checks the items in and we, you fill out a form. We label the items with your name and we tell you um, how long it'll take us to process your items. We go through them and pick out what we want to purchase and then, it, and then we'll have a cash offer for those items if you want store credit. However, if you want to shop in the store with the money, you can get 20% additional. Used clothes are a good, a good purchase, a good selection for most people. Um, it's a, um, we have, our clothes are in excellent condition. What we buy is in, is in good shape. Um, it's, it's something that you can use, and, and, bring, and if it's still in good condition, bring it back and resell it to us. Uh, it's a good way of recycling items, um, especially, especially for people who aren't brand new parents, even people if this is their, they've had multiple children, our grandparents, um, aunts and uncles. We have people come in here and buy baby shower gifts. Um, we have gift cards that they can use. Um, it's just it's a good way to recycle. You can rest assured that we've made sure that any items that you buy here are safe. We also do have a return policy of seven days. If there's a problem with anything, we're, you're welcome to bring it back. Come on in and try us out. Bring your clothes in to sell. Um, again, toys, games, books, equipment. We pay cash for all those items. Uh, again, or if you'd like store credit with a 20% more. Um, it's a good place to be. The kids, the kids enjoy being in here. We have children that like to come in here to shop, actually. Um, and, and again, good place to get toys for your children and baby equipment for your babies. We hope you've enjoyed our show. On behalf of the team at Canton this month, I'm Diane Baker, and I'll see you in Canton.